Jefferson Davis was born on June 3, 1808, in a log cabin in Kentucky. His parents named him after Thomas Jefferson, the third president. They had ten children in their family. They moved to Mississippi when he was two, and they lived on a farm. On the farm, he learned how to ride a horse, hunt, fish, and work with his family. There he also attended school. Later, he went to Transylvania University to become a lawyer. Next, he attended West Point Military Academy and graduated in 1824. After this, Jefferson served in the Army and spent most of his time on the American frontier fighting Native Americans in some brief battles. In 1835, he met Sarah Knox Taylor, and they were married. Her father was Zachary Taylor, his commanding officer at the time, who would later become the President of the United States. He didn't want them to be married, and so Jefferson left his command and moved to Mississippi. Sadly, soon after this, his wife passed away from malaria. In Mississippi, Jefferson became a farmer like his father and built up a successful plantation. He believed strongly in state rights and that states should be able to make their own decisions without the federal government. He ran for political office and in 1845 was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. During the Mexican-American War, Davis decided to leave politics and fight in the military. After the war, he became a politician again and served in the U.S. Senate. Later, he became the U.S. Secretary of War for President Franklin Pierce. For many years, tensions had grown between the northern and southern states. Finally, in 1861, the southern states began to leave the United States to become their own country. When Mississippi, Jefferson State, left, he left the Senate and was elected to be the president of the new country they wanted to form, the Confederate States. Jefferson didn't like the idea that the southern states were trying to become their own country, but he felt it was his duty to serve with his people. Also, he thought the North would let them become their own country without any problem, but Abraham Lincoln, the president, would not let them. The Civil War began when Jefferson Davis commanded the Confederate Army to attack Fort Sumter. He picked many of his friends from West Point to lead the army. At first, it looked as though they might win the war, but the northern states, also called the Union, were more powerful. Even after General Robert E. Lee surrendered on April 9, 1865, Jefferson tried to keep on fighting. He was captured soon afterward and went to prison for two years. After prison, Jefferson Davis settled down and wrote a book about the war called The Rise and Fall of the Confederate Government. On December 6, 1889, Jefferson Davis passed away in New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs>